Okay, another five minute tutorial that um, if we can use would uh, perhaps make life a little easier for some of us. Um, you need two things open on your home PC, not the cooperative PC because the cooperative PC won't do this for you because of various restrictions on um, the software that's loaded onto it. Some of it's too old and as a result, Google Maps, for example, won't work. You need to have a Google account. This is my Google account linked to my personal email address. And it's my Google account that is accessible via the iPad, accessible via any internet enabled telephone, uh, or in this case, my personal computer at home. You'd also need, of course, a piece of software that you use at home for spreadsheets. Now, you may well have access to Excel spreadsheet on your home computer. And if you have, that's great. Personally, I haven't decided to pay for that on my home computer so i have another version of a spreadsheet creator that i use uh, which is a free download okay where you start from is you need to create a database from which you want to create the map to do that click the accounts tab and you may have a number of things that appear when you do that they may i'm not sure what will be actually sitting in this box here what you want to do is create a new view and I'm going to call that new view Google Maps. I want it to be only my accounts and I want it to contain certain information. I don't want it to contain account owner alias because that's just my name. I don't particularly need to know the regulatory type as far as my map is concerned. What I do want are details that are useful to have on a map. I want the street, the town, the city, the postcode. So I want all three of those on the database that I'm going to create. Account name, county, phone number, street, all the rest of it. That's the bit that's actually the mapping information that's useful. And I would probably want to put the phone number in last. So I highlight it and just move it to the bottom. County is sitting in probably the wrong place. So I would move that to below there. Account name, street, town, city, county, postcode phone number. That's pretty much all I need for the database that I want to create. And then I save that template, which is now called Google Maps. And I've now got a list of all of my accounts that I want to create a mapped tool of. You notice down here in the left hand corner that when you first do this, you might find that your setting only shows you the first 50 and you'll know whether it does because it will show one to 50 of whatever your total is. If you click the 200, it'll probably, I doubt any of you have got more than 200 in your list, it will create a list of everything. And what we want to be able to do is extract that list in a way that we can then use it. Click the print button in the top right hand corner and I'll do that again in case you didn't see me do it. There's a little picture of a printer. Click that. That then produces a printable version of that data. And then get to the bottom right hand corner, highlight the whole lot, which doesn't take very long. Depends how cack handed you are with your mouse. Right click, copy. Then go to your spreadsheet developer and drop it in. Maybe slightly easier with Excel if you're more familiar with that, if that's what you use at home. I'm quite used to using this one at home for various different bits and pieces that I want to do. And I make it a little bit easier to use. I make it a nicer looking spreadsheet, but frankly, it's not going to make any difference when it comes to what we're actually going to do with the data when we transfer it across. But you then need to save that version. And I'm going to save that as, and you'll notice here, I've had various different goes at this in order to make it work well. I'm going to save it as map three. And then I can close down my spreadsheet because I don't need it anymore. And I can come out of Salesforce and I can go into Google Maps. Remember, you need to be logged in to Google Maps with your Google account. And you'll get this screen. Menu. Your places will open this screen. Maps. Now I've already got one because I've already done this once, but I'm going to do it again for you so that you can see how to do it. And I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like that with the names of the firms on it and everything. Yeah. And we want to create this for you. So that's what we're going to do. Go to maps, go to create map. 
you'll get this screen. Go to Import. Select a file from your computer. Find that file, which is my spreadsheet file. You'll then get this. Choose the column to position your place marks, and you'll want it to be the postcode one. Now, I've made a mistake here because I haven't put titles on my spreadsheet. I happen to know that the postcode is the fifth one because that's the way I ordered them. And then a title for the markers. And I know the first one is the name of the firm. Finish that. It does a little whiz around. And then it drops all of those markers onto Google Maps so that you've got them. I've gone a little close. And there you have it. Those are all the accounts that have got my name on it. And if what you want to do is actually have the names of the firms also showing on the map so that you can see them, I'll go that and do that again. Click on this little uniform style, go to the labels, go for the first one because that's where I have the name of the firm recorded and it then drops the name of the firm onto that pin that you've put into the map. Now, the mistake that I made, if you go back to the spreadsheet that I did, is I didn't copy across titles for each column. If you title each column, then where it says unnamed here, it will say account or name of broker, depending on what title you've given it. But I think the logic's pretty simple. And once you've done that, you can give this map a name. I'll call it Salesforce 2, but it's exactly the same as the first one that I did while I was checking to see whether it was even possible. And you then have within your Google Maps that you can go to at any time you like, from anywhere you like, a map with your name on it within Google Maps that has all of your accounts recorded across it in a way that means that you can actually look at them. Yep, all the names, everything there. So when you're looking at a particular town and you're doing your planning exercises because you're not sure who's close to who's close to everybody else, you've got all of your location points with all of your people on. And when you click on each one of those tabs, it'll bring up the name of and the address of the account that you're looking at. I find it really useful as a planning tool when I'm looking at trying to organize days when I'm in the field, because I can see where all these people are. Hope that's helpful. Hope you find a way of using it. Um, best of luck.